Now, next up is customizing kind of this bottom area here. I always change this up and I also change up a few of the options right away because they just bother me. So I don't like dynamic inputs. You can see here when I start typing, the uh, dialog box or the dynamic input box here pops up rather than down here and simply just being on the command line. This may be because I've been using the software for quite a while, but I typically just don't like things following my cursor around. I like them to just be consistent and in the command line. So you can turn that off by going down here to the bottom and clicking on and off the dynamic mode or dynamic input. Uh, you can also use the command D-Y-N-M-O-D-E to turn that on and off by using one or two or one or zero, but I'll simply uncheck that down here. So now you can see when I'm typing, it's only going into my command line and it's just not cluttering up my screen. I like to keep that clear as possible which goes into the next tip, and that is I almost always turn off selection cycling. So selection cycling is what happens when you select an object that is above or below another object. This selection cycling window pops up and it asks you which of the objects you meant to click. Now, I find this pretty redundant and more annoying in 90% of the use cases. And there are a few where it is helpful, and that's why you can turn it back on just as quickly by clicking this button. But I tend to be able to click the object I want uh, pretty easily. If I have any areas where there are quite a few overlaps, I find that hovering over lets me select what I want uh, just as easily because it's highlighting what's going to be selected when you click. So I never really find this uh, function useful and it just takes up some of that screen real estate. So it is one of the first ones that I turn off for increased speed and less lag. I find the less stuff popping up on the screen, the better, the smoother the software runs and the less annoyed I am in the long run.